we're all here to, to send a, a very clear message. And that is that today is the last day that anyone in the state of Maryland should expect that they can get away with talking on their handheld cell phone while driving. Today is also the last day that anyone who is 16 years of age or older can ride in a vehicle without buckling up. This is good news on both fronts for driver safety. As you can see by uh, the number of police chiefs that are here, I'm not speaking alone on these two very important issues um, of new Maryland traffic laws. We're, here to, we're all here to demonstrate a strong, unified message from Montgomery County law enforcement. And that is, when the laws change tomorrow, we are ready to enforce them. The use of handheld cell phones while driving has been illegal in Maryland since 2010. The law sent a good safety message that you shouldn't talk and drive, but it didn't back it up by allowing our officers to pull folks over if they saw them using their cell phone while driving, because it was a secondary offense. That is, officers had to witness you commit another vi traffic violation before they could cite you for a cell phone violation. But as of tomorrow, October 1st, it becomes a primary offense. Our officers will stop you for the sole violation of using a handheld cell phone without a hands-free device while driving. As of tomorrow, October 1st, every person in a vehicle must use a seatbelt or a child safety restraint. Previously, if you were over the age of 16 and riding in the back seat of a vehicle, you didn't have to wear a seatbelt. Well, that's changed. Now everyone in the vehicle has to wear the seatbelt. Distracted driving is one of the leading causes of crashes in the United States, and seatbelt use is the single most important step you can take to save your life and prevent injury during a crash. Because these laws have such an impact on our safety, we're not giving a warning period. Officers throughout the state will begin active enforcement of these two laws tomorrow. I can guarantee that all of our Montgomery County officers will be watching for these violations. Part of the law said that the chief judge of the District Court of Maryland could set the uh, violations, uh, set the amount for each violation. And the chief judge has set for the first offense a fine of $83, for a second offense a fine of $140, and for a third and subsequent offense $160. The penalty for a vehicle occupant not wearing a seatbelt, also $83. There's more information that you should know about these laws, uh, and we don't have enough time this morning to, uh, to talk about all those things. But we've created a list of, of frequently asked questions that we're happy to hand out and um, uh, to provide more information. But our message from Montgomery County law, force, law enforcement is clear. Starting tomorrow, hang up or hands free. It's Maryland law. I'm very pleased to, uh, to have the chairman of the Montgomery County Council's Public Safety Committee here to talk about the importance of these two new laws. Uh, Council Member Phil Andrews. Thank you, Chief. And I want to thank uh, our state lawmakers who have been leaders on this issue, uh, State Senator Jenny Forehand, Delegate Charlie Barkley, and and other members uh, who have championed traffic safety because driving a car or walking across the street is the most dangerous thing that most of our residents do every day. Uh, and we have an obligation when we are driving a car to drive safely. And that requires eyes on the road, hands on the wheel, seat belt buckled, buckled and paying attention to the surroundings. Uh, and you can't pay attention to your surroundings uh, when you're texting or when you're uh, holding a cell phone and talking while you're driving. You just can't do what you need to do to avoid becoming a statistic or making someone else a statistic. We have to drive down the number of people that are hurt uh, in our vehicles uh, or hurt by vehicles, and these laws will help do that. I want to commend our, our police department. Our police chief has made uh, enforcing traffic safety laws a priority, uh, as it should be, and Montgomery County has done a lot to do that with speed cameras, with red light cameras, with a very strong traffic enforcement division, and now with these new tools that have been provided by our state lawmakers, we'll be able to provide 
additional safety for our residents. But we need the cooperation of our residents, of our drivers, so that we have safe roads, we have safe streets, we have safe places for people to cross. Uh, and so it is crucial that those who drive, drive safely. And to do that, they need to hang up or have their hands free uh, when they are driving. Thank you, Chief, for your good work, and uh, thanks to everybody who is here working on this very important issue for the people of our county. Thanks. If, um, if you look at the number of traffic fatalities that uh, have occurred in Montgomery County, uh, there's a steady decline uh, over the last um, 10 years. And you can attribute that to a number of things, but one of the most important reasons that there is a decline in traffic fatalities is the percentage of people that are uh, using their seat belts while driving. And that percentage has gone up, and the, our, our number of fatalities has steadily gone down. Um, so the, the, the fact that uh, the law was passed, um, uh, enacted and passed, um, that required passengers um, to wear their seat belts in the cars is just going to make um, uh, folks safer uh, on our roadways. And so I'm very happy to uh, introduce the sponsor and uh, the originator of that legislation, um, State Senator Jenny Forehand. Thank you. It is a real pleasure to see this come into fruition today. And, and I know that our streets and, and uh, county will be a lot, a lot safer. And I think it's great that we're publicizing these new laws to cut down on the deadly ed accidents on our roads, especially with young drivers. I've been on the uh, Judiciary, Judicial Proceedings Committee for about 15 years now, and the stories that we've heard as testimony related to this law were just, just horrendous. You didn't really want to hear them, but we needed to, and that I can't imagine why it took so long to do this, but anyway, I really especially want to thank uh, Montgomery County Police Captain Tom Dadone, and where, where is Tom? He's here. Uh, he, without Tom Dadone and his testimony, I'm not sure we would even be here today, but he came to me back in 2011 asking for legislation to make seat belts a requirement for all passengers. And it has been his mission to prevent traffic injuries and deaths for the young people in Montgomery County and throughout the state. And uh, that is, is a wonderful uh, testimony. And I've sat on this committee for, um, with Senator Brian Frosch, who's the chair of the committee, for many years now. And, and I think this is probably one of the most important bills that we've ever had passed because there's so many accidents related to that. Uh, it took us three years, however, to get the law passed, but we succeeded, and Captain Dadone does deserve a lot of that credit. And my appreciation goes to Governor O'Malley and the Department of Transportation for taking this legislation on as their own and to get it passed. Um, John Astle is a senator from Anne Arundel County, and his son was killed in an accident. His son was the driver, but the person behind him was not belted, and when there was a, a, cr a terrible crash, the person behind um, Senator Astle's son uh, ran, his whole body just ran into his, the, son, the, the driver, and he died right on the scene. So I think that that's something the public needs to hear about because I've heard people say, oh, why do we have to have our seat belts on? And I tell them about that accident, and I th hope and th believe that they are, everybody is going to do this. It's the law now, and so um, let's, let's make it work for the safety of our state. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Um, last year, we issued uh, uh, just over 500 citations uh, for people talking on their cell phone. Uh, we issued only, in, in all of last year, issued only 11 citations for people texting while driving. Uh, you're going to see that change tomorrow. The numbers of drivers who receive uh, those citations for talking on their uh, handheld cell phone and texting is, is going to go up dramatically. 
And um, we, we want to make sure that everybody on the road knows about this change uh, so that they can, can avoid getting these citations by complying with the law. And a huge partner in getting the word out to drivers is AAA. And so I'm very happy to have the manager of the public uh, and government affairs from AAA here, John Townsend. Thank you, Chief Manager. This is a tough new law, and to change and modify behavior on the roads, you need tough laws with tough enforcement. The Chief mentioned a moment ago the paltry number of tickets given to people who were caught with a handheld cell phone last year in Montgomery County, and it's even paltry statewide. In 2011, only 7,000 tickets were issued for the offense. But think about this. There were over 80,000 vehicle crashes in the state of Maryland last year, and 58% of those were caused by some form of distracted driving. There were nearly 500 fatalities in the state last year, and 58% of those were caused by a distracted driver. And when you look at the total number of people injured in automobile accidents last year, about 53% of those were caused by distracted driving. It's not only pernicious, it's pandemic. And the only way you can modify and change behavior is by having police officers pull people over and ticket them for the most dangerous thing you can do on the road. Now, you may dispute that, but we know that cognitively, if you're talking on a cell phone with a, without a hands-free device, you are just as dangerous to all other drivers, pedestrians and cyclists, school children as a drunk driver. As a matter of fact, police officers can tell when a person is drunk, I'm sorry, can tell when a person is distracted behind the wheel because he or she has the same telltale signs as a drunk driver. Tough enforcement, tough new laws. We commend the police department for cracking down on this. We say to drivers to hang up. We also thank state lawmakers for doing the right thing. This has been three years in the making. Now we have real teeth and tougher penalties, and that's what works. And again, I say to my friend Tom Didon, thank you for your efforts. We still mourn your loss. But God has brought something good out of it in some real and tangible way. And thank you for being the messenger about the dangers of of not wearing seat belts. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Um, we're happy to answer any questions that you might have. If we have no questions, um, I know that I'll speak for the, the sheriff and the police chiefs that uh, will be available to do individual interviews if you'd like that. Thank you all for being here.